Hello, my name is Jonas Serfoner with Schweitzer Engineering, and today I want to show you how to communicate with an SEL 751 relay. The steps that we're about to walk through to establish communication can be applied to all of the 700 series relays. So the first thing to do in order to connect to the 751 feeder protection relay is you need to connect your C662 cable to one of the ports on the device. It has multiple serial connections. There is one on the back, and the one that I'm connected to right now is the front port connection. The cable, the C662 cable, has a driver that needs to be installed before you connect the cable so that it recognizes it and you're able to properly communicate with a 751 relay. So once you've installed the driver, you've connected the cable, the next step is to establish the communication to the relay. So how do you do that? You need to know what the front port communication speed is on the relay. That is a setting that we need to find out through the front port. The way you do that is you go into the main menu by hitting the enter button, and then you navigate down to the set show section and hit enter again. Now we're in the sub menu structure of the set show and we will need to navigate to the port and hit enter again. Now this is gonna give us all of the settings of the various ports that the relay has. In particular, since we're connected to the front port, we will want to navigate down to the port F, hit enter, and find out what the communication speed of the device is. So navigate down to COM settings and hit enter. And here we see the speed of the front port that we're connected to right now is 9600. So with keeping that in mind, now we go to the Accelerator Quickset software and go to Communications and Parameters. So we know the data speed of the device, which is 9600, but we don't know yet which COM port on the laptop the relay is connected to. So to verify, we need to go to the Windows and Devices and Printers, and here, we're going to see an SEL CP210X USB to UART bridge. In particular, the COM9 is the connection that I am connected to on the laptop right now with the C662 cable. So now, going back into the accelerated QuickSet software, we're going to choose the device that is labeled COM9. The additional settings that are further down here, the data bits, stop bits, parity, those typically you leave at the default. The level 1 password and the level 2 password are configurable. The default passwords, if you get an out-of-the-box 751 relay or another of our relay families, is level 1 password otter, which is spelled O-T-T-E-R, all capitalized. The level 2 access level password is TAIL, T-A-I-L, all capitalized. Once we entered them, we hit apply and OK. So now to verify if we've established communication to the device, go to the terminal, which is that terminal icon right here. You open it up, and when you have it open, you hit enter. If the relay responds back to you with an equal sign, that is the sign that you have established communication with the SEL relay. Now there are different access levels as I mentioned. Right now we're in access level zero, which means that we have only established communication to the SEL device. The first access level lets you only read data from the device. The second access level gives you read and write capability. So if you want to modify settings or change something, a certain configuration on the SEL device, you would need the second access level password in order to do so. I'm going to type in the ACC command and type in OTTER to enter the first access level. The relay responds back 
with indicating that now you've bypassed the first barrier and you're in level one, which again is reading capability only. To get the reading and write capability, you will need to access the second level. The command for this second access level is 2AC. Once you type in the 2AC command, it's gonna prompt you for a password and you're gonna type in T-A-I-L, tail, all capitalized. Now you have an equal sign with two arrows, which indicates that you're in the level two of the relay. This level, you're able to change settings and read metering data from the device. As you can see, establishing communication to the SEL 751 is very straightforward and easy to do. For further information on the 751 and our other relays, please go to the SEL webpage on selinc.com. Thank you for watching.